Hey, it's Richard from Android Central taking a look at Android 5.0 Lollipop and its accessibility features. So much has been carried over from KitKat, but there are a few new bits uh, inside that we're going to take a look at. First up, we've got Google Talkback, which basically uh, uses voice instructions to tell you what you're touching on the display, and it's a particular good use for the vision impaired. Switch access, by contrast, allows you to configure hard keys on the devices in combination to carry out different functions across the OS. Captions makes a return in Lollipop to enable the feature system-wide for videos, and with just a few taps you can also change just how large the text is and how they look visually. Magnification gestures gives you the ability to zoom, pan, and zoom a little bit more across the entire system. A triple tap enables a stock zoom level, while two finger drags pan around the screen, and pinching and unpinching zooms further or returns to normal. Another simple way of making things bigger is to enable the large text option, which does exactly what it says on the tin. High contrast text, on the other hand, leaves things exactly the same size as standard, but it emphasizes the fainter text. Examples we've got here are where white text has been outlined in black and lighter colors such as gray will be changed to black so they're easier to see. Auto rotate screen is duplicated in accessibility from the display menu, does exactly the same thing. Uh, and speak passwords, which is just below it, will do exactly what it says. And for that reason, we're not demonstrating it here on video. So a little caution when using it. Uh, the accessibility shortcut would allow you to quickly enable features in this menu, even when your device is locked. And the text to speech box will take you to a sub menu to choose which engine you want to use. Google's is the default, but even then you've got a wide choice of voices and languages to use. Touch and hold delay is ideal for those with dexterity issues, letting you increase the time you have to hold down for any press and hold actions. New for Lollipop are some colour correction features for those with visual impairments affected by colour. We've got a straight up colour inversion feature that changes everything to the inverse of the stock system colours and it works across all apps. Those screenshots that are taken and shared will be in the regular colours. There's also three individual settings designed to help colour blind users. Deuter Anomaly for red and green, Proton Anomaly for red and green and Triton Anomaly for blue and yellow each alter the system colours in such a way to benefit those with visual issues relating to each. There were initially six options for this in the L preview, but for whatever reason Google's reduced it to three in the latest version. So that's just a quick look at the stock accessibility features in Android 5.0 Lollipop. Keep it locked to Android Central for much, much more Lollipop coverage in the weeks to come.